I love, I love hearing that music on a Tuesday. Really. <laughs> Great to have you come to ever. My name's Sean, and you are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show, a show that's been running now nearly 10 years, actually. And as ever tonight, we have got some amazing deals for you. We're also, in fact, yeah, we really have got something for everybody. And we are joined by the amazing Glenn. Nice to see you, Glenn. Are you what's, right? what's going on with the jackets tonight? Did we both go brown, did we, tonight? We really this... coordinate for change. This is it, yeah, because normally we don't, do we? Uh, no, we're... we just sling anything on, don't yeah, we? Let's you know, be honest. Well, yeah, but... Where was I going up in the room? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, nice to see you, Glenn. Glenn um, works for Planet Cruise. Uh, last week's show was crazy. Actually, really good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday was really, really busy. Um, and then we had Black Friday, and we're still recovering from that at the moment. And then we it had Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Uh, have you got anything for Tuesday? Now we're doing Giving Tuesday. OK, so what we're doing tonight, anyone that books a cruise tonight on the show, we're going to give a pound per person to a charity, one of our local charities oh, down fabulous. at Planet Cruise. So if you book tonight, you're giving to charity as well. So, you know, get booking those cruises and put a bit of money towards charity And as we well. have got some amazing deals. We've got tonight. some good late deals. We've got some new uh, discounted offers. We've got, as I said, trips over to the Caribbean, over to Hong Kong. We've got all different stuff tonight, so it's going to be a good one. And the Caribbean one, well, I've got my on it. It's with P&O, and it's under £880 for two weeks. For two weeks, it? yeah. Taking yeah. some of the nice islands on there as well. Really, really good ship as well. So I think it's going to be a nice show, and hopefully uh, it's going to be a busy one. Uh, actually, what I'm excited about as well, we have got... The brand new celebrity ship, the That's Edge. easy for you to say. Jack, I can't speak to you know it? <laughs> um, the, the Celebrity Edge. <laughs> yeah, did I not say that? I don't know what you were saying. <laughs> <we're> just... <laughs> You're wearing them teeth in for someone else. I've been on the drinks package, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, honestly, we have got a brilliant lineup. We have. And again, the Edge, we, we talked about breaking news a few weeks ago that it was relocating to Europe, and we've got one of the deals for Europe. So that's going to be nice. I just want to give a couple of call outs as well, which I said I would do. So, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Knight. Uh, they were dealing with Rob yesterday in the office and they said they watch the show every week. Can we please give them a call out? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Knight. Hello there. Also, hello, I want to hello. give Christine a call. I spoke to Christine yesterday. Hi, Christine Holborn. So she's booked a couple. She's going on the edge. She's going over with her friends to the edge. Yeah. Oh. So uh, looking at a couple of other bits and bobs at the moment. So hi, Christine. And also, I think it was Mary Bennett as well. Yes. I think commented on one of our things today anyway. So I said I'd give Mary a quick call. Yeah. Today. Well, you mentioned that you're not going to be doing the show for a few weeks. That's all. I know. I know. Well, I've got to go. I'm on holiday and then I'm, we're busy in January. We've got to make some money. So, but you will uh, be back, of course. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So it's going to be so don't busy worry. in January, but it'll be back in February. Anyway, are you ready, uh, ready for tonight's show? Because we're going to start off with a fantastic cruise. Uh, with, of course, Morella, who, and we've got to keep saying it, is <laughs> Thompson, of course. They were Thompsons. Now, Thompsons went to Tui. And then for the cruises, it's now called Morella. And they brought this in a couple of weeks ago. So whenever we say Morella, they go, what are you talking about? So Thompson's is Morella now. And everything's exactly the same. No difference at all. Exactly the same style, same product, and the same service as well. And the same amazing prices. So 629 for this one, seven nights. And uh, yeah, chance to get some really great winter sun. So let's take you on board. So this is the Morella Dream, um, previously the Thompson Dream. Of yeah, previously something else before, but no, it's the Morella Dream <laughs> at the moment. And again, uh, we, we, we talk about Thompsons all the time, and whenever we ever deal with Thompsons uh, or Morella, they always sell very, very well. What we always say is the service is good, the staff have stayed with the company for many years, so people that go back time and time again recognise the staff and they recognise you. Uh, and I think when people go on board, they just feel very at ease, very comfortable, very relaxed. And it's just that sort of cruise line. Um, now, again, based down in the Canaries this time of year, you know what the weather's like in sort of January, February time. You're fed up at Christmas, it's cold, you want to get away. Down the Canaries is always good weather down there, 24, 25 degrees, which is good, and you know you're going to have a nice cruise. Now, entertainment on board, they, they voted Thompson's or Morella, again, the number one operator for the size of ships for entertainment. So if you like your shows, good food on there. I had a client speak to me the other day as well. They've been on with a number of other cruise companies and they said that the food in the speciality restaurants on there was some of the best they've tasted. So that's always a good endorsement. And, and I think, as I said, if you want to try a cruise, you want to get away in the winter and you want to go down to the Canaries and top up that tan, this is a nice way to do it. And we've got multiple dates starting from January all the way through to April on here. Um, and I will let you know, it's, it has been selling really quickly. All the balconies are now sold out, aren't they? They are. And, and the other good thing with Morella is uh, because they have their own airline, they have regional flights as well. So it's not just your, your London, Manchester and Birmingham. They can fly from regionals. There might be small supplements, but the team can advise you what they're going to And be. you never have to worry about tips because, again, they're all included. T tips are included, of course. Yeah. I mean, I'm not being funny. 629. It's a really low price. Well, it's less it? than £100 a day and you've got your food, your entertainment, your tips, yeah. your flights, your transfers. What else do you want? Um, and some lovely warm weather when it's really... I mean, I hate 
February and oh, January it's just and March, it's a bit of a lull, isn't it? After the, after the Christmas and New oh, Year, and yeah. just go and top up the tent. I, I always go away in January, so you, yeah, you'll see me. And February, March, <laughs> March, part of April. <laughs> just, I honestly there are crew members that haven't done as many days at sea last year <laughs> as you. <laughs> I have been very lucky, but I just use my holiday wisely. That's yeah. holiday. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. we'll move on. I do try that. You know, I, I I love cruise holidays. You know, I've, I've done twenty five. So. Oh, uh, I know. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you keep telling me. I've been very lucky. I know. Have anyway. Let's uh, let's show you where you are going to be cruising to. So we, we're going to fly from London Gatwick, but... As yeah, it's, ba it's based on London Gatwick, but as I said, you know, phone the team if you're based around the country, they'll, they'll look at different sort of uh, options for you. And from there, you're going to fly, of course, down into Tenerife. Now, Tenerife, again, a great destination to go to. You go into the north of the island here, up into uh, Porto de la Cruz area. So that's where you'll start your cruise, and that's where you'll embark the Morella Dream. And then from there, we head over into one of the other Canaries Islands, into Las Palmas. Now, again, all of these islands we've mentioned before um, is great for the weather there. Now, I actually lived in Gran Canaria for a, a couple of years. I was based over there. A couple of different places, Puerto Rico to go and see, played in, um, uh, Puerto, sorry, Puerto Rico, Mas Palomas, really good areas to go and explore. Mas Palomas in the middle of the island has also got the sand dunes if you want to go and ride the camels and stuff like that. But it's a good island to go and see. And again, you're going to have all day there to go and explore. Then from there, we go down into Santa Cruz de la Palma, another one of the Canary Islands. And again, nice opportunity to then go into the centre of town there, wander around. Great restaurants, good beaches. They're a little bit more sandy beaches than maybe in Tenerife where they're a bit more black with the volcanic And everything's sand. a bit more greener, actually, isn't it? It is, yeah. As I said, it's, it's a cross between Europe and going over to the Caribbean. It's the tropics, so it's a good, as I said, great environment over there, good weather conditions, and you'll enjoy that. Then we go into one of the highlights of, of any cruise, which is Madeira. And again, we, we go to Madeira a lot when we do our transatlantic cruises. But again, another chance to Caribbean meets Europe. Now, when you go into Madeira, again, it's quite a hilly area. You'll get some great views if you go up into some of the restaurants. I would advise definitely doing the cable car uh, and the funicular, and then also do the um, toboggan that takes you down there. You can go and have tea at Reeds, which is one of the exclusive uh, colonial uh, hotels. But again, when you're driving around Madeira, you'll get some beautiful views, and it's one of my, my favorite places to go and visit. Then after that, we're gonna have a chill out day at sea, just to take it easy, relax, before heading over to a slightly different culture yeah. again, which is Agadir. I, now. I thought this was really nice to have this. Well, it's slightly one. different, because normally they stick around the Canary yeah. Islands, but again, you're going into Morocco here, so again, completely different environment there. You've got the Bahia Palace, you've got the beautiful gardens, but again, of course, you've got the souks and the, and the, and the market stalls to go and do a little bit of bartering and haggling. Um, you know, you can get genuine fakes over there, no problems <laughs> at all, uh, that will save you a few quid. Uh, and you always see people come back with lots of presents for people back in the UK. So again, it's a nice opportunity and just something a little bit different than just going to the Canary Islands solely. Then we go back into the Canaries, into Lanzarote, into Arrecife, and from there, again, you go and explore. You've got the sand dunes there. You can see that the environment there is very, very barren outside the town areas. And this is why I would advise maybe doing a tour, even up and again into the volcano area there and maybe do one of the camel rides, just something a little bit different while you're there. But it's quite nice, as I said, you've got a Canarians cruise plus Morocco on there, and then from there back into Tenerife for your flight home. And all of that, for 629 pounds. Let's just show you the ship actually, because uh, again, really nice ships, uh, as, as Glenn said, fantastic food, great service, great entertainment, and very much traditional ships, aren't they? It is, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, Morella themselves are brought in the Discovery 1, 2, and the Explorer, which are normally based at this time of year over in the Caribbean. Um, but Dream's been with the, with the company now for a number of years, and, and you've got a very, very loyal following there. It's comfortable, as I said, a friendly ship. And it's one of those ships, when you walk on, you don't feel it's stuffy, you don't feel it's uneasy, you feel relaxed as soon as you get on board, and this is why I really like it. And and the amount of people that book Morella time and time again is is phenomenal. Well, I said we 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 get great great feedback on a regular basis, and uh, whenever we have Morella on the show, say Formy Thompson, we get huge volumes of calls coming in. So let's just remind you all your tips and exclusive discounts are included tonight. Return flights they are based on London Gatwick, but as Glenn just said. We, could, you know, we can find your flights from most UK airports. Just ask the, uh, the team and they'll tell you what supplements may apply there. And uh, yeah, if you want to extend your holiday, you can actually add on a seven night hotel stay in Tenerife. And that starts at just 379 per person. That's really good, really good. Make it into a nice two week holiday. Yeah. So if you've got the time to do it, do it. And um, the dates we've got, well, we've actually got some great dates all the way through 
January, February, March, and even into April there as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would really say, you know, looking at those sort of January, February dates is when the, the Canaries is really comes into it because the weather's so good there at that time of year. Yeah, really good. Now, we're, so we are so getting lots of sellouts on the balconies, so if you do want a balcony, then we have still got just so a even, couple of even dates Even if you look at some of those prices on there, the upgrade from an inside to an ocean view is about 30 or 40 pounds, hey. which you would do. Glenn, look at it. I know you like your fancy things. Look at that. Look at the suite. I know. There you go. That's really good, actually. Not, isn't it? not too bad at all. That isn't it? Yeah. I'll, I'll probably do the inside. You'll do the suite. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good for suite, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's excellent value. And as I um, said, but the balconies, there's only a few balconies on. That's why they tend to get sold out yeah. very, very quickly. Uh, now, we've. Um, We've got something that's just come in today from Fred Olsen, and they've given us uh, some basically exclusively reduced prices today, which is yeah. fabulous. This is just when they just dropped our, their prices for the TV show right now. And it's on board the uh, Balmoral, and look at this. It's a five-night Belgian chocolates and tulips in Amsterdam cruise, starting at just 289. Uh, now, I've spotted straight away. What did you spot? <laughs> I spot the drinks package. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, you can upgrade to all inclusive. Well, I'm thinking about taking my mum on this. I've got to, I've got to have a decent drinks package. Um, £15 per person per night. Do you think it's worrying now that me and you don't care where the cruises go? We just check out the drinks package. That prices. could be worry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that is, I mean, honestly, I, I've, I've cruised with Fred Olsen with my mum before. Yeah. She loved it. The single price is only four six nine as well. Yeah, and again, we get a lot of single passengers phone up, and obviously yeah. sometimes they have to pay a lot more. That's a really good deal. And I tell you what, if you've never done a cruise before and you think, Do you know what, five nights is nice. We've got the drinks package included. You've got your food, your entertainment. Why not try that and give yourself a taste of a cruise? In yeah, it? it's a great one. Do you know I've never been to Amsterdam? Can nice. you believe that? Yeah. So anyway, uh, um, they've reduced the prices for the TV show tonight, but that one will go fast. So if you do want it, starting at two eight nine and the single four six nine. Oh, that's great. Really nice. Really yeah. nice deal. Uh, now, from, uh, from Fred Olsen, we're going to move on now to Princess Cruises on board the Sun Princess. And this is your chance of, first of all, having a magnificent... Oh, do you know I can't speak tonight? Magnificent? Magnificent stay in Hong Kong. It's not that hard, is that's, it? That's we are live, by the way. Um, <laughs> and then you've got this amazing cruise, haven't you? You have, yeah. So this is a package we put together on here. So this has got your flights, your cruise, you've got stays included on this one. And again, with this one, we've got flights. They're based on London, but going into Hong Kong, we can look at alternative airports. We can look at Manchester, possibly Birmingham as well on there for you. But again, with this one, you're going to have a two-night stay in Hong Kong, the wonderful yeah, Hong Kong. Oh. Well, let's give you a, a little taste of a, a magnificent place. Yeah, I mean, we're doing a lot of our packages out of Hong Kong now. Um, it's one of the hub places to go and do a stay before the cruise. We actually had the tourism uh, company came in uh, a couple of weeks ago to the team just to, to run through some more information about Hong Kong. I've been there a couple of times myself. I think you've been there as yeah, well. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, loved it. Now, again, the, the, the whole of Hong Kong is buzzing. It's a small metropolis there, so it's, it's quite easy to get around, but it is separated between different islands. And again, depending on where you say, it's easy to get around. You've got the ferry going between the various islands. Now, when you're there, there's loads and loads of things to do. The cuisine, the food there, you can go from street cafes to Michelin-style restaurants. So depending on what your budget is, that's where you can go from on there. You've also got the fantastic uh, different things to do for the families. It's not just for adults. So you've got Disneyland there. You've got... Madame Two Swords, you've got plenty of things to keep them occupied. The other thing which is really, really spectacular is not only the skyscrapers, but also the tradition there. So old meets new when you're wandering around the area there. And as I said, great for the kids to go and do that. And then finally, you've also got in the evening, the whole place oh, comes yeah. alive with the it's light like the show. The light's amazing. Now, including in this package, we've got the light show included on this one. We've got the um, the uh, cruise going along the water there. So you can stand like on the... the symphony of lights. Yeah, yeah, so you can stand on the side and watch the all the skyscrapers uh, light up. But we have included the cruise on this, so you're going to cruise along the water, take it in the light show, and that's included in this package. And honestly, that is beautiful. It's it's something, if you've never seen it before, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do that. And as I said, we've got two nights in Hong Kong. If you want to do longer, if you want to extend it, which you might want to do, we can just move the flight back extra and give you an extra night accommodation in Hong Kong. But I think if you haven't been there before, loads of stuff to do for adults, families, for all ages. And uh, so you have got that Symphony of Lights cruise included in the price of this as well. Um, now, that's just the start of your 21-night trip. So you've got your two nights in Hong Kong, and then you're going to be aboard the most beautiful ship 
with, of course, Princess Cruises. I cruised with Princess a couple of years ago, and I thought they were fantastic. Yeah, really I mean, good. we class them as five-star. Uh, what's, what's nice with Princess ships are they're very, very similar. If you've been on one ship, they're designed very similar throughout the fleet. So if you've been on one, it'll be quite similar to a, the, another one that you go on. Again, they were the first people to do the movies under the stars, yes. so you can watch the show there. And again, great for families, couples, depending on what you want. They have the Sanctuary, which is a retreat for adults if you want to get away from the kids. Uh, again, you have family activities there. The food, um, they've got obviously their main restaurants, they've got speciality restaurants. I'll be honest with you, no one's ever starved on a cruise ship anyway, but <laughs> Princess do take it to the next level. If you want to treat yourself, you've got the chef's table, which is a bit of an experience. And again, you've got that movie under the stars. They've invested in their shows. Their entertainment is very um, for mixed nationalities. And I think you'll find something for everybody on there. And if you've not tried one before, we are the top agent for Princess and definitely worth giving them a go. They, they, the standards are really, really high. But you, uh, you're going to see a lot of the world on this one as well. You are. You? You're going to see some different places. I mean, we feature some of these places quite a lot. But again, as I said, if you've not done Vietnam and places like that before, this is a great opportunity to do this. So this one, when you get on board, always nice to have a relaxing day at sea. You've had two, three busy days in Hong Kong. You board the ship and then just chill out. From there, we're going to go into South Vietnam. We're going to start in South Vietnam and then work our way up the coastline. Now, in South Vietnam, we're going to start in the Trang. And here you've got the uh, Oceagra uh, Oceagraphic Museum. You've got the various markets. You've also got the Thousand Egg Mud Bath. So if you want to treat yourself to a little bit of a mud bath. But again, another way of doing this is taking one of the boat trips along the coastline there. Swimming, snorkeling, something for everyone. You can even take the cable car if you really want to treat yourself. Then we go on to one of the highlights for me, which is Ho Chi Minh um, and at the top end of Vietnam there. Now, a number of different things to do here. And again, I would definitely recommend, and I say this a lot when we talk about these places, is Independence Square, the War Remnants Museum. And again, if you can take a trip out to the Kuchi Tunnels, of course, their history, their, 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 the awful things that happened 40, 50 years ago, still very prevalent there. And you get a chance to go to the various museums. Very somber experience, but I would say definitely worth a visit. And if you can go to those Kuchi Tunnels, it's very, very interesting. Then from there, we have a chill out day at sea, and then we go on to the phenomenal Singapore. Now again, another big hub in this part of the world where we do a lot of our free stays. You've got one day here, and I recommend a trip there to the Marina Bay Sands or the Gardens by the Bay. That's like something out of Avatar. The Marina Bay Sands is a new hotel with the infinity pool on the top. You've also got the uh, Merlion there, which is one of the famous uh, sculptures. You've got plenty of other things to do. Raffles, you go to Sentosa Island. You've got one day to explore Singapore. So you might want to use this as a stop one day and then go back in the future. It's just so clean as well, isn't it? Cleanest city in the world. Yeah. yeah. If you drop chewing gum, is it about a $20,000 fine? Or something? It's something ridiculous. It's big, yeah. It's something And ridiculous. honestly, even like every tree, every shrub, every, every plant looks like it's just been pruned and deadheaded. It's like manicured. Yeah. manicured. It's an amazing place, really is. Then what's nice about this, you've got another day at sea before you then go into Phuket. Now Phuket um, is one of my favourite destinations to go to. I love the beach areas there. Great chance to go snorkeling and swimming. Again, take a trip out to maybe James Bond Islands. That's where you see a lot of the limestone stacks and we did the trip out there when we, when we went out to the James Bond Island. You've also got the various uh, temples to go and visit. So you either do more of a land-based thing or water-based, but whatever you do, you're not going to be disappointed and it's so cheap to eat and drink out there when you're out yeah, for the day, really which, is, which is really nice. Then we go on to Langkawi Island. Now, we were there a couple of years ago on our last cruise that we had. And again, this is really phenomenal for your beaches. There's some of the beaches. We were on that beach actually just chilling out off the ship, getting away from it all for the day. Uh, and, and, but again, if you want to go more into the cultural and history, you've also got the Hanging Bridge, which is not for the faint-hearted, but if you want to take a trip over there, you can do so. But we just plotted up on the beach and just sat in paradise. Looks amazing, actually. Yeah. Moving on to Penang. Penang is a little bit more of a city-based place to go and see to. And we went up to Penang Hill. Penang Hill is definitely worth a visit. You take the uh, funicular up to the top there, so some amazing views over Penang. We also had a guide that took us around all the fish markets and the local markets, which was very, very interesting. So plenty of things to do there as well. And then from there, going into a place called Port Klang, which people might not have heard of before. This is the gateway to then go into Kuala Lumpur. Now, Kuala Lumpur, you've got the mosques to go and see, but the one thing you need to go and see are those bad boys there, Patronus Towers. Again, from there, you can actually walk across in between there, between the two towers. I think Catherine Zeta Jones, Sean Connery were in entrapment. That was it. That was, oh, that really? Was yeah, that, that was actually yeah. there. But again, a phenomenal place to go and see, and you've got the chance to go to the uh, Patronus Towers. And then from there, two chill out days at sea, and then we go into the paradise of Bali. Now, I have to mention, 
People are not silly, they've been looking at the news the last couple of days. The old volcano's got a stomach ache at the moment and it's having a little bit of a gurgle. Now obviously we don't know what's gonna happen. This is not going for another nine to 10 months, okay? So if things change, obviously we'll, we'll adapt it on there, but we're gonna go, everything's gonna be fine there at the moment and I hope it is, because Bali is my favorite place in the world to go and see. I've been there a number of times on the ships and to visit on holiday. Again, good for beaches, for temples, the people are so friendly. Go elephant trekking, take a horse ride on the beach. There is loads of stuff to do in Bali and fingers crossed everything's gonna be okay with the, uh, the little grumbling volcano. Then you had three days at sea and then we head from there back into the tip of Australia. Now from there, you can carry on your journey if you want to do extra things in Australia if you're down there. If not, with this package, we're flying you back from Fremantle. I mean, when you look at the, the map there, Glenn, you do get to see... Well, look at the places so, you're seeing. I know. There, yeah. And then have a look at the price. I know. About £100 a day. I, and, you know, bear in mind, you've got all of your flights as well. And the two-night stay in the, uh, the four-star hotel in Hong Kong. The Symphony of Lights cruise tour, that's included and all of your return flights. That is an amazing offer. Really, it? really good yeah. deal. And as I said, if you want to see that part of the world and tie it all in together, and as I said, you might want to extend your stay in Perth and go on from there if you want to, that's up to you. And Planet Cruise, they are amazing at putting together bespoke packages. Of course we are. That's yeah, you know, give the guys a call and they do their best. So, um, yeah, give us a call right now. What time are we open until tonight, Glenn? 10.30 tonight and then back open tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Will you be there at 8? No, okay. I've actually got a day off tomorrow. No! <laughs> so I'm going to drive home nice and leisurely tonight <laughs> and then have a lay in and then, and then take the baby swimming in the afternoon. <laughs> Oh, so that's a nice day. Yeah, it's nice tomorrow. <laughs> now, um, I may have done a lot of ocean cruises, but I've yet to experience a river cruise. You need to get on one of these. I know. I need my holiday. So yeah, well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I've got to say, if, if I was to do a river cruise, and I do intend on doing one, Viking, right up there. Yeah, I mean, j just, just given an overview of river cruising, we have a lot of the companies come in to see us. They are all four or five star, all the river cruise companies we deal with. They're all very similar because they sail on the same rivers. They've all got their little quirks that all are different. Viking are the biggest cruise company out there. If you look at any of the adverts, you watch some of these afternoon dramas, they're always sponsored with yeah, Viking yeah, cruises. Yeah. So they're the ones that people know. And when they launch ships, they don't launch one or two a year, they launch 10 or 12. They just bring out these ships. Now, this is one of the long ships they have. And, and again, with Viking, they're very, very modern, very cutting edge, and, and they are a brilliant, brilliant uh, river cruise line to go with. Well, we're just having a little look now. So these are, the, these are the long ships they have there. They're long ships, Sean, because they're longer than the normal ships, that's why they're called the long ships. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's amazing. What a surprise, Glenn. It's in the name. I didn't realise But that. if you have a look at them, I think people wonder what a river cruise is look like. This is what it's like. They are modern, as I said, beautiful, beautiful lines. You've got the restaurants at the front there, so you can sit out there. Now, again, when you do ocean cruises, even if you look at some of the cruises we've just talked about, you'll have days at sea, we're in the middle of the ocean. On a river cruise, you're going up that river, and every side, all the time, you've got different moving scenery, and that's what people love. Now, the dining on site, it's all casual on there as well, so none of these dinner suits you have to wear. And you can see the, it's, it's more for couples. Uh, we do have uh, families go on there, but it's more couples cruising on there, and it's more leisurely. And this is what I'm saying to you, the moving scenery the whole time. Now again, you've got the river views and then the French balconies. The river views, you have the small portholes. I would always try and pump for one of the, the French balconies. That's what you're gonna have the, the views from. And as I said, as you go along there, it's a much more relaxing cruise than it would be on an ocean cruise. You might have 100, 150, 200 people on there, nice and easy getting on and off, no queues, and it's more relaxing, but a lot more stuff to go and see. Um, and a lot actually is included in this. They well. do, yeah. So Viking do include a lot of stuff. So on this one, we've we've actually put on. They're not doing it, but we're we're covering the cost of the silver drinks package on there. Or you can have a hundred dollars M&S voucher. What would you have? Uh, oh, that's a difficult choice. Moving on from there. Uh, I, I do love M&S, but um, yeah, the drinks package. <laughs> yeah. Day, yeah. <laughs> uh, and again, they're doing free Wi-Fi. And of course, again with this one, they're doing excursions in every port. So again, so everything's covered. In yeah, the yeah. So what a lot of people do is do an excursion in the morning in the place and then they go and explore themselves in the afternoon. So it's, a, it's a, actually it's a really good deal. Anyway, let's, uh, let's give you a little taster of some of the places that you're going to be seeing and visiting with Viking. Yeah, so this one here, we're going to start off first of all in Avignon. That's where you're going to be joining the ship. Um, and again, Avignon's beautiful, but uh, we are going to actually be coming back to this place and visiting it in a short while. Then we're going on to Arles. Arles is moving along the, uh, the river there. And from here, you've got the impressive Roman ruins. You've got the 20,000-seater original Roman amphitheatre. And again, you've got a chance there to explore the shops and the bars and the cafes. So, as I said, you'll do a, normally a tour in the morning and then you're free to do your own thing in the afternoon. Back to the ship, a couple of drinks in the afternoon and then sailing on with that moving scenery. 
From there, we move on from there, and I think we're actually going back into Avion on here, and that's where we're going to be um, spending the day there. So you arrive there, but you actually get a chance to go and experience this. This is nicknamed the City of Popes, and again, beautiful chance to go and have a wander around here. Seven Popes from 1309 to 77, uh, 1377 actually came from Avignon. That's why it's named that. Again, you've got the palace. Now, the other thing which sprung straight out of here, do you like red wine? Uh, yes, very much, yeah. Do you like Chateau Neuf? Yes. Yeah, so this is where this comes from. So you get really? a chance to go to the vineyard, vineyards there and try the Chateau Neuf de Pat. And then again, we'll just wheel you back on the river cruise in the afternoon. So that would be nice. Maybe this should be my first river this cruise. This is a yeah. river cruise for wine lovers. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you get a chance to experience that. But again, you've got the Pope's I would Palace. enjoy that, though. I mean, yeah, would, yeah, really would, yeah. And again, plenty of uh, history and culture to go from there. Then we go into Villiers, which is the old town there, which is, is stunning. And the old town here, it's medieval and Renaissance buildings. You've got the 5th century Roman settlement and also the 12th century cathedral. But beautiful countryside as well. And because this is a bit more of a, a wine lovers, they'll also do wine-based tours as well if you want to go and try some of the, the local tipple. And then as we carry along from there, we also go on from there to the uh, Turon sur Rune. And there, as well, which is probably pronounced completely wrong, I do apologise. But again, with, with the river cruises, you can actually do two places in one day. And that's how they'll stop and start as they go along. And again, from here, you've got a chance to take one of the locomotive rides through the, uh, the gorge uh, along the river there. You've got dramatic landscapes. And again, also a chance then to sail again in the evening along the river and just take in the beautiful views. Then we go in to Vienne, which again, you have a chance there to uh, have an overnight on board here, which is always nice. So again, with this place, you can actually have dinner on board, or if you want to, you can wander off yourself and go to one of the local cafes, bars and restaurants and just lap up the, uh, the local cuisine and culture there, which is really, really nice. And then from there, down into Lyon. Now again, here on Lyon, you've got, an, you've got two nights overboard in here, so the, the ship will be docked and you can go and experience what Lyon has to offer. It's a UNESCO World Heritage uh, site here as well. You have a beautiful chance to go up to one of the hills and look over the city. You've got the Basilica of Notre Dame. And again, if not, just wander through the cobbled streets and just soak up the atmosphere. As I said to you before, when you do a river cruise, it's not 6,000 people rushing on and off the ship. It's a lot more of a relaxing way of doing it. And as I said, a really, really good opportunity. If you like the wines, this is a wine lovers tour. I think that's a lovely one, actually. And again, yeah, the, really other, the other thing I would say about that is the ship is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, well. she looked it. Well, let's, um, let's just imagine, because you honestly you got everything included on this one. All right, so, um, now this is from Planet Cruise. Um, Glenn and I, we, you know, we do push for these drinks packages, and you, you will get... Oh, I think I might go and get a suit or something from M&S. Oh, I might just have a drinks package. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> choice is yours, though. You know, not everyone likes a drinks package. No, of course but, you know, but you have got the free silver spirits drinks package, which is really good one. We'll tell you everything about it in a few moments' time. Uh, free Wi-Fi and excursions. That's in every single port as well. As Glenn mentioned, perfect for wine lovers. And the ships vary depending on departure date. Uh, and the itinerary is operated in reverse on certain dates as well. Yeah, so all, sometimes it'll go up and then yeah. come back the other way. Um, it's really making a difference. And return flights from London, of course, as well. Price-wise, now we've got some really great prices starting at 1395, but we noticed the single prices, particularly on the later dates, they're really good. On they are really, yeah. really good. I mean, if you look at the prices, you can see through the, the, the top half there. But again, if you want to get away and try a River Cruise, that, the, the 7th of November, the 21st of November, really big yeah. drop in price on there for you. And, it, you know, people can do whatever they want to do. If you can, I would really strongly recommend go for one of the French balconies because that's the beautiful views you have there. Um, and again, a veranda is one you can actually sit out on. That's the difference between the French balcony and the veranda. And you can see there the prices, yeah, particularly those last two dates, they really yeah. are. Yeah, and again, as I said, you've already mentioned the single price. Again, with Viacom, we've based it on London, but we can also look at alternative airports depending on what the uh, availability is. And we think everything's included there. Yeah. So, uh, right, uh, the, the drinks package, I've got hey. stuff going on about this. <laughs> <laughs> No not matter where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a bad reputation. Listen, I'm right. I'm right there with you, um, brother. Unlimited premium wines, beers. <laughs> but I also like my, you know, things like my espresso drinks, things like that as well. And your juices and your mineral water as well. So all of that, plus cocktails and a bottle of sparkling wine then as well. And as I said, that's something that we're paying for. Yeah. The cruise has an exclusive offer on there for you. So, uh, yes, all of that is included. Uh, now, Glenn, we've... 
We've got another special deal that's just come in, haven't we? We have. We've got another deal that's just popped in as well. And again, it's, a, it's another cruise line that people might not be aware of. This is Pullman Tours. Now, we've been working with Pullman for about the last six to eight months on this one. This is going out on the 20th of January. Now, another Canaries cruise. So again, we've talked about how good the weather's going to be. Now, Pullman is a Spanish-based cruise company, but we've got a lot of Brits travelling on here as well. Um, now, the nice thing about this one, oh, going on to it again, it's an all-inclusive cruise. <laughs> oh, really? So it's all your drinks and all your tips included on this one for you. It's return flights based on London. Now, transfers aren't included, but I'll be honest with you, taxis to and from the airport aren't that expensive. Going Gran Canaria, Tenerife, La Palma, Agadir, Lanzarote, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria and back. But look at the price. Inside, all-inclusive flights, everything, 499 per person. And outside, £50 extra. And again, this one goes out to the single people because they always phone us up. 559 five, on the nine. single. On there, so we were saying, like, if we could do it, we'd do this one, yeah, yeah, brilliant. absolutely brilliant. You know, and I said, you don't get at that time of the year to be able to get away, get some wind, some olive drinks, everything taken care of under 500 pounds. That's yeah. amazing value, isn't exactly. It? Yeah, less than sort of 75 pounds a day. And as I said, you've got your drinks, everything included on there, and you will get a lot of British passengers, you said. Yeah, as I said, it is a Spanish based company, but you've got quite mixed nationalities on there. But again, a lot of the Brits are booking this now one because of the prices, and two because the ships are very, very comfortable. And as I said, they've got a lot of stuff going on, full entertainment program for daytime and evening so it's a full cruise but it's a nice opportunity if you want to go 20 for jan and so that's uh, that just came in so lovely time to go what's what is it what do they call it there's a day in january that's the most depressing day of the year is it the third monday in january oh i'm it's not funny. sure yeah probably yeah. something like that yeah so just what's it called is that it's anyway i think it's the third week in january the one it's miserable monday i don't know but there's a name for it now yeah, but yeah th basically well they won't they won't have that problem if they're on that cruise no you they? won't they'll be away but we all do get a bit down don't we sort of like the third fourth week in january anyway that's gonna take you away to get some great winter sun uh anyway we are oh now the next one's exciting yeah, well, Cuba, aren't well we? we were speaking to people on the. Uh, I went on the uh, cruise a couple of weeks ago, and people said they love the show, and it's always nice to get that feedback. But we try and feature different things as well. Now we're, we're dealing now with a, a company called Celestial Cruises. Okay, so Celestial, uh, again, a company we've started work with over the last few months, and they're a, they're a Greek-based cruise company. So they're based quite a lot over in the summer over in the Greek Isles. But what's great is they relocate over to Cuba. For the winter now cuba is oh. a massive massive buzz about cuba you at the moment time there, you? i live there i live oh, in cuba. There? i live there for seven months i was based in havana and veradero in 1998 and i don't think it's changed much but with all the if you look at the, the number one record the last couple of weeks was uh cabana which is all about yeah, yeah. cuba all the songs now all becoming this latin vibe people are taking salsa lessons they're drinking mojitos in the bar they want to experience what cuba's like it's one of the only communist countries still in the world it's going to start to change with america coming in and if you want to go and see the old classic american cars you want a bit of salsa you want to try a bit of something different from a normal caribbean island go to cuba as i said i lived there i loved it and this is a great opportunity to go and see cuba i would uh I would get it somewhere wish list it yeah. really is yeah it really is worth going over there now these cruises here are going to be based and going out from Havana now the great thing with this one is we're going to take you out on Virgin so Virgin is going to fly out of Gatwick and they're direct flights now, so I'm just working out what the prices I would be for Virgin flights we, we worked them out the other day they were about coming in about 650 700 pounds yeah. at the moment just for the flights so when you're adding this cruise on in top of that you get a chance to see Cuba, great opportunity to go around there, and this value is really, really good. But and of course, limited flights, once they sell out, they're gone. And dare I say, it is all inclusive as well. It is all inclusive. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's, let's, let's take you on board. So, really, again, friendly ships, really friendly, friendly ship. homely. I, we, people always say, what's it like? I would, I would sort of base it on a, on a level of Thompson's that sort of level if you want to get an idea but again you've got the shows there now with this one here as I said to you before you're gonna have the the overnight in Havana when you arrive so when you go there you've got a chance to actually use the ship as the hotel now they just show briefly there that that's the Tropicana show which we used to go to now if you want the, um, the ex-girlfriend I took her there she loved going to that show with all them girls um, <laughs> but again if you really want that show you've got a chance that's to do she's that an ex -girlfriend, she's an ex-girlfriend she's not around anymore um, but again when you're in Havana what I would say to you is go and explore the back streets of course the cigars they they, they roll the cigars yeah, yeah. there but you've got that whole experience in Havana uh, to try that and again you've got a chance to do a bit of dancing and try the mojitos but when you're on board as well the ship is your hotel for the night so you've got that opportunity to go back to this beautiful style ship as well and it's geared up for this part of the world which is nice the staff on there are, again mixed nationalities the entertainment will be mixed nationalities but you know the ship is lovely it's all inclusive but you're also going for this experience and again within this cruise we will talk about it in a minute you've just seen there you've got Montego Bay but we'll talk about that in a moment
but this it's is a nice one. This, one isn't it? this is this but, is different. Yeah, it this is. is. And people say to us, "Give us something different." where well, we're doing that for you. And now, if you want to go to Cuba before it all changes, and maybe you've done the islands, you've done all your Caribbean islands, you want to do something different. This is a good opportunity to do this. And so, when you work out, you've got all of your tips, your drinks. Yep. Your Virgin flights. Yep. So uh, you know. And we're selling yeah, loads of these deal. at the moment. We are yeah, selling loads are. of these in the office at the moment. So this one here, we're going to fly over from the UK. As I said, it is Gatwick flights from Virgin direct at the moment into Havana. And you've got your yeah, overnight on board there. So again, you've got the opportunity to go out and experience that. Old Havana, the cobble streets, the colonial buildings, Revolutionary Museum. And again, if you like the, the Castro and Che Guevara and you want to learn more about the history of that, that's a really good opportunity to do that. Then you've got a chill out day, relax. It's all inclusive. The sun's going to be shining. A couple of mojitos, bit of dancing on the top deck. What a way to spend the day. And then we go down onto the southern coast of Cuba into San Fuegos. Uh, and again, from here, you have the opportunity, more colonial buildings, more of the provincial museums. You've got some of the beach areas there if you want to go and chill out, relax. You've also got the Thomas Terry Museum. You've got plenty of opportunities to go and see. And as I said, when you walk around there, um, you will see the colonial buildings. They are magnificent. Um, and it's just such an interesting, different island down in the Caribbean to go and explore if you've never been there. Then we have a bit of a anomaly. We go over to Jamaica. We go over to Montego Bay here. Now, I've holidayed in Montego Bay a couple of times. And again, the vibe over there is different. You've got the salsa, and then you go to your reggae of Montego Bay. A couple of things to do here is you can go to Dumb Rivers Falls. That's a popular one to do. That's right, I did that from a photo. Yeah, so again, yeah. you put the funny shoes on, you have to yeah. walk up there. You've, I think that's where Cocktail was filmed, the Tom Cruise film yeah. that was filmed over there. I'll be honest, it was colder than I imagined. Was it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. But it was fun. But it is fun over there. And again, if you want to do a full day tour, they do do the Bob Marley experience over to the other side of the island. It's about a two, two and a half hours drive. Um, and you actually go over to the, the house and, and the area there where Bob Marley was born. So that's quite interesting to do. And of course, you'll have your rum and your general Caribbean feel there. Then we head back into Santiago to Cuba, uh, to Cuba and on the southeast coast here. And again, more colonial architecture, more revolutionary history. Uh, and again, you'll learn more about the, the Bay of Pigs and the, uh, the invasion into Cuba. The history there, because it's modern history to me, is always a little bit more interesting than hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Same about talking with Vietnam. You know, when it's happened 40, 50 years ago, you get to envisage it, envisage it a little bit more. But a really good opportunity to do two or three places in Cuba, then a chill out day, back into Havana, and then you can fly back if you wanted to, or you can go and see where I used to live over in Varadero, which is about two hours drive from Havana, and we take you over to Varadero, and that's your beach holiday. That's a nice hotel, and we're adding that on for 659 per person, and, and again, with that one there, you can just have an all-inclusive hotel. It carries on with the all-inclusive, and you can sample the more delights of Cuba. If you want to see Cuba, you want to tick it off the box and see as much as you can, this is probably the one to do. I'm just looking at that date, that is a fabulous time to get away. 22nd it? of Jan, you haven't got yeah. long to wait, but again, you know, the weather's going to be good there. And you can see the, you can see the ship, very, very good quality on there. Uh, as I said, the food on there is really, really good as well. Now, what they are doing as well, if you book one of these Cuba cruises, they are getting entered into a draw for a three-night holiday over in, in, uh, oh, in Greece yeah. as well. So they will enter you into that, and if you win, you'll get that included on there as a, as a winner. Of and you said this one has been selling really well. Selling really well. We've already got people in the hat ready for this one, but again, they are offering that as a three-day uh, if you win this, if you book the we'll Cuba. Say, just work out the price of the, the, the flights low. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, let's just remind because it's, uh, yeah, it's... So all inclusive, and as Glenn just said, if you book any of these celestial cruises, uh, Cuba sailings, you'll be entered into a competition, and uh, one of you will win a three-night med cruise. It is all inclusive, and we have got obviously exclusive discounts tonight. If turn flights based on London Gatwick, and they are direct flights of Virgin. You're saying they yeah? are Virgin, yeah, at the moment, yeah. Uh, and if you'd like to add on that seven-night all-inclusive beach uh, hotel stay, you can do that from just six hundred and fifty-nine pounds. Again, that is all inclusive. Yeah, really. That's, Different, yeah? Yeah, it's really made me think that one. Oh, price-wise, um, we've actually got... I know that's... You've got a really good price for the 18th of December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want yeah. to go out for... Do you want to go out for a bit of Christmas? Yeah. Or um, you could get away for, for New Year as well. Yeah. So, yeah, all... So I'm just saying, yeah. yeah. I can't do it this year, but I'm looking to do it in the future. But I'll tell you what, this is something a little bit different, Sean. You know, as I said, we want to give people some different things. That's why we feature Pullman and Celestial. Different places to go and visit. And as I said, Cuba's really, really good at the moment. And it is buzzing over there at the moment. And um, so if you'd like to book that right now, give us a call on the, uh, the usual number there, 0808 250 and uh, we have got details of the drinks package, as hey. it happens. <laughs> so, look, you've got to read right. I can't read them all out, Brian. 
selected spirits, beers, cocktails, and then for the end of the night, Greek flavoured ouzo cocktails. So that's good night. Yeah, there you go. Really. And you get all your um, non alcoholic cocktails, sodas, ices, and then of course your hot beverages as well. There you go. So you've got, uh, yeah, really good drinks package as well. Lovely. And <laughs> ouzo. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, oh. do you know, we, um, we had a celebrity special a couple of months ago with, with Ruth, and we actually announced on that show that The Edge was moving over yeah. to the, the Med. And do you know what? We actually had several bookings that night just mentioning yeah. that The Edge was coming across. We, there's only one sailing where The Edge sells out of Southampton, and we've got it on tonight's show. Yeah. But this is the one that's selling extra. Yeah, fast, I mean, the edge, the, edge, the edge obviously got launched a, f a few months ago, and when we saw the, the footage of it, it's a complete new, new concept of cruising. Now, what is it? Is in it innovative? We've been <laughs> trying does, to say this all day. <laughs> Go on, you say it then. Well, I, I'll just say a lot of innovation. Has, innovation has gone into it's an inner, innovative shit. <laughs> just say, yeah. just say yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. But their tagline is a ship designed I to leave. I can't say yeah. yeah. But their tagline is a ship design, designed to leave the future behind. Um, it's interiors designed by Kelly Hoppen, uh, the interior designer. And again, if you have a look at the actual ship as well, it is taking cruising to the next oh, level. Now, please bear in mind that this is where Sean normally stays in the two-story edge villas. This will be where he is. They've got the magic carpet. This is a completely new concept of a restaurant going up and down the sides of the ship. Look at the way the ship is designed. This is, there is no other ship in the world like this at the moment. It's not even released. It will be released in December 18. Um, but again, as I said, it's based in the Caribbean 18 into 19. Look at the garden. And then obviously we're coming back into the Med. Kelly Hobbin designed all this area here and it will be coming back in May 19 to the Mediterranean. It's going to be based down in uh, the Mediterranean. But as I said, we've got this one sailing going out of Southampton. Um, but it is, it is going to take cruising to the next level. I'll and be honest, I would not want to get off the ship. No. I'd have to no. force myself. This, is, this, I think, if you want to experience the, the, top, the, the top you can possibly go on cruising, this is what you're going to book this one for. And, you know, many of you know that you know, I'm a massive celebrity fan and I, I love, obviously, the eclipse, the reflection, but this is a completely different Yeah, and this is going to be a new class of celebrity ship coming yeah. out and it's not going to be the only one being built. Um, but we're, you know, we're so excited about it and, it, and, it, and, it, and the buzz about it at the moment is phenomenal. But this is the only date sailing out of Southampton, so obviously there's a massive demand. Anyway, let's... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm still thinking I'd stay all the time on the ship, but no, I'd, I'd have to force myself to get yeah, up. Yeah, you'd have We have got some lovely ports. Um, the first day is at sea, though. Yeah, so. so this one is going out of Southampton on this one, and then you've got a day at sea. Then from there, you're going over to Bilbao down in the, uh, the top half of Spain there. And again, here you've got a chance to go uh, to the Guggenheim Museum. We talk about Bilbao quite a lot, but again, the architecture there is phenomenal. The city's nice, but make sure you go to the Guggenheim Museum. Then from there, we move on to La Coruna. La Coruna is a great opportunity from there to go over to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Santiago de Compostela. If you don't want to do that, it's the home of Zara, uh, and that's where La Coruna is. The gentleman that, that owns that is, is living in La Coruna, or is based in La Coruna. But again, you can walk along there. You normally go for runs along in La Coruna, but it's a nice opportunity to explore there. Then a chill out day to experience this, this wonderful ship. And then we go into Lisbon. I couldn't think of anything better than being on the Celebrity Edge sailing under the bridge, if they can get under it, on the 25th of April bridge with the um, uh, Christ the Redeemer statue on the left-hand side, glass of champagne, toasting being on the most beautiful ship in the world. And Lisbon, we feature a lot with the glass, uh, glass elevator and the trams there and the main square. Um, but Do you again, know, I'm just thinking, any of the ship that's important, all the passengers will be so envious of your Well, the, the edge, it's very, they? very similar. When I worked on another ship, when I worked on, on the Queen Mary, that, that everything stops when that ship comes into port. I have a feeling the edge is going to be the yeah. same, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, then we go from there to go and see uh, the apes in Gibraltar. We go up to the top of the rock, um, and this is where we see uh, Sean's uh, chin twin, as you'll see in a minute, with the, uh, the you watch, you wait, you wait. For I the do, I, look, there I he actually, is, look at it, he's got the same beard it, as Sean. It is the same, the same <laughs> colouring, definitely. It's definitely yeah. the same. But again, Gibraltar, we talk about it a lot. Well, your body shape, though, don't Not the, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, you look at that. All look, right! Look at that, separated at birth, look. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, just be careful you don't, don't put your hands in your pocket and nick, yeah. your, nick your nuts. Um, and then we have a chill out day at sea and then we go into my favourite destination which is into Mallorca, into Palma, again where I got married last year. So again from here you've got the full day in Palma and I know I know all you speaking to friends over in Mallorca, they're very excited for the ship coming in and again you can go out to the right hand side into the centre of Palma, you've got the, uh, the 12th century Gothic style cathedral there, over to Sawyer on the east coast, Mallorca is still my, my favourite place in Europe to go and visit. Then a chill out sea, day at sea and then back into Rome. Now what's weird with this one it is it is a better price for our clients to do a one night stay in Rome at the end than it is to fly back actually from Rome at the end really? of the cruise. Don't ask me why there's logistics into it but we can actually give you a better price having a one night stay in Rome. So when you get off the edge and you've had a phenomenal time you'll have one night overnight stay in Rome because you, you can't see it in one day so what would be nice you get off in the morning you have all day get up in the morning have breakfast and then we we'll fly home in the afternoon the following day um, this is the only sailing going out of Southampton it's the most beautiful ship in the world and as I said it, this won't be around very long yeah, we're selling really really quickly and uh, have we got any more images of this fabulous ship I just want I just want to yeah can we have another look yeah. Here we go. So as I said, that's the magic carpet on the side there. That's the restaurant that will go up and down. That's See, the that's, rooftop garden. I mean, is... I, I, I love the look of yeah. that. Yeah. And it's and like going they... into a trendy, you know, cocktail place in London yeah. or something like that. That's what it feels like. Now, just while we're going through those images, I just want to give you a couple of extra options you've got with this package. So we've based it on here with the one night stay in Rome. OK, so we're calling it a one night free stay in Rome for you. The other add-ons you can do, you can do a two-night stay or a three-night stay. We can add on as many nights as you want. We can also do a back-to-back -back cruise. Now, obviously, we're getting you off on the 26th. If you want to stay on, there's another cruise going down to the Mediterranean, and that's another, I think, 10 or 11-day cruise, so we can do that for you. We can also do the same back-to-back -back cruise and add on an extra night stay in Rome. The last thing is something very, very special. Some of you might have seen the film that's just come out. We can finish the cruise in Rome. We can give you a two night stay in Rome. We can then train you down to Venice, give you two nights in Venice, and then we can then pop you on the Orient Express. Oh. Orient that, Express. That would be the trip of a lifetime. Yeah, it? that is a trip. Don't get me wrong, you, it's not as cheap as a cheap day return to Liverpool Street. <laughs> You'll pay the money, but if you want to really treat yourself, if it's your, your anniversary or you're celebrating your divorce or something like that, and you want to treat <laughs> and spend all this money, get on the Orient Express and then we'll, we'll actually train you back, pick up the Belmont and then back into London. Well, uh, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's just remind you what is uh, included in this one. That extra night uh, stay in Rome. This is their brand new ship. It's setting a new standard of luxury and what at sea, Glenn? Uh, what, oh, not reading it, sorry, what am I doing? Innovation. Innovation, Innovation. See, there you go. Um, return flights uh, to London, of course. Innovative. And uh, the option, as Glenn just said, to add on uh, one more uh, night in Rome, or you could do a back-to-back -back cruise, or uh, Venice on the Orient Express there as well. So just ask the call centre, they'll talk you through all those options in obviously a lot more detail. Yeah, they'll give you the prices, but I, said, yeah. I think the main selling point of this is going on the edge. Now, um, I promised you to finish the show an amazing deal with p &O. When this came in, and I, I, I put a little thing on Facebook earlier, I could not believe two weeks around the Caribbean for under £880. That's less than £440 a week. Yeah, so obviously the, the Azura and Britannia are based over in the Caribbean for the winter. And they're obviously heading back to Europe for the summer. So this is one of their repositioning cruises. Always get great prices on this one. And if you want two weeks, remember your flights including your transfer on this one as well. Two week cruise for 880 quid. And, and, and what I love about a say a cruise like this, um, you know, if you don't like flying, you get your big flight out the way at the beginning and you're making what I would say you want to see the ship and I'll tell you what, if they want some T V gold, it's coming up. Oh, this is you, isn't it? Yeah. T V gold with Glenn. With over eight places to eat, drink and socialise, a plethora of venues to unwind, or five fantastic entertainment venues, Azura is a destination unto itself. Dining on board Azura definitely takes centre stage with three main restaurants to choose from and the choice of either club or freedom dining, you'll definitely have plenty of options. But for that real touch of home, how about an incredible afternoon tea designed by master patissier Eric Lanlard. Now, if you like a bit of spice and atacultia sindhu, it's definitely calling you. Blending together British and Indian cuisine, this is one not to be missed. And for the wine lovers out there, you need to pay a visit to Ollie Smith's Glasshouse. 
split into four age groups with a boatload of activities and some seriously enthusiastic reef rangers on hand, your kids will be thoroughly entertained during your cruise. There are a host of games and toys to use and new activities are planned daily. Plenty to keep the little ones amused while you head off for some shopping or maybe even the spa. Speaking of which, did you know there's a child free zone on board called The Retreat? Well there is and you can get a spa treatment al fresco while you sit back and relax. Of course there are more treatments available inside the Oasis Spa as well. And if you fancy working up a sweat, there's of course the gym as well. In the evening, why not head along to the Playhouse Azura's 800-seat theatre, where you can catch any number of live performances. If you prefer something a little bit more intimate, then head along to either Malabar or Manhattan lounges, or maybe even head up to the pool to catch a film on the sea screen. Whether you want an inside or a suite, there is a cabin on board Azura to match everybody's budget and taste. The insides are cosy, but still come with the all-important tea and coffee-making facilities. However, if you're looking to treat yourself, then why not go for a suite? over twice the size of a regular balcony cabin and offering you not only a spacious bedroom, but a living area as well. Oh, and if you really want to see how the other half live, then there's even a butler on hand. God, that's one of the best, best pieces of film I've ever seen on honestly, a ship, Glenn. I'll tell you what, honestly, change cameras. <laughs> <laughs> but um, seriously, we were talking under that clip of film just briefly. You love the Azura, don't you? I hadn't been on the Azura. I've been on, I used to work for p but I hadn't been on the Azura. And you know, you walk on a ship and some, you get a vibe straight away whether you think I could actually cruise myself on here and take the family on. Absolutely loved it. I just love the way the setup was. It's a British cruise line over there. The Azura has been going over to the Caribbean for 10 years since it was first, first launched. Really, really like it. And this one is nice because you're flying over into Barbados and then from there you can have an overnight. So you can have an overnight in Barbados at the start. So you're docking them, you'll use the ship as the hotel and then you can go and see Barbados. You've got Vesheba, you can go and swim with the turtles, you can go to Harrison's Cave. You've got loads and loads of stuff to do here in Barbados. And then another big hitter, St Lucia. You've got four really big ports of call here. St Lucia with the pitons, you can go swimming and snorkeling over to Sofria. We, we talk about St Lucia a lot, but it is one of the big, big Caribbean islands to go and see. Then from there we go to St Kitts with the, that you've got a chance to go on the St Kitts Railway. You can go over to the island of Nevis. We used to go and play golf at the Royal St Kitts Golf Course, which is 10 minutes away from the port area, but a really, really nice destination. And then from there, my personal favourite, which is Antigua. I've holidayed there a couple of times. The port area is always buzzing, but again, from there you can go over to um, uh, the, the coastline there. They've got 365 beaches. You've got St John's, big British influence in Antigua with the dockyard as well. But again, I would probably take one of the boat trips out around 360 around the island, which is a, a nice way to do it. Then, being a repositioning, cruise you're going to have two for five days at sea and they should be really warm they? they should be warm what happens it, it starts to get a little bit cool as you go across but up to Ponce del Garda which is the Azores it's still going to be very very warm on there and again with the Azores when you're there it's a good opportunity one to stretch the legs but I would do a tour the, the scenery the landscape there is rugged very very beautiful but the actual poor area around the area is stunning as well then the three days um, at sea it gets a little bit cool as you go back and then from there, back into Southampton. But it's a really, really nice one and some strong islands in the Caribbean. And Glenn, this one will sell quickly time, right? Very, very quickly, yeah. I'm just looking, I mean, I, I, I just think when you break down the price of what you actually get on a cruise like this, that, that is really, really, really 440 good. pounds a week. Yeah, and again, with this one, you've got the, the overnight on board in Barbados. You've got the outbound flights from London, plus all the overseas transfers. Now, again, we do have people from Manchester. There's a, a 49 pound supplement from there. And again, obviously, the ships do differ on some of the dates. And just quickly, Glenn, people might be wondering, hang on, we fly out from London to Manchester, but we arrive back into Southampton. They've got that covered, don't worry. So what you'll do is you'll park your car at Gatwick or Manchester. You'll fly out from there and join in the Barbados. You'll then sail back into Southampton. And included in the price is a coach taking you from Southampton back up to Gatwick or Manchester to collect Brilliant. your car. Brilliant. So that is included. So you don't pay extra so for don't that. don't worry that's about that, because yeah. it's something that I thought about. Yeah, and the guys will do that for you. Brilliant. So that is included yeah. as well. And uh, price-wise, it, honestly, it doesn't really get better than this. Eight seven nine. But I tell you what, for an extra few pounds, you can actually get an outside. Yeah, or a few and actually go to the, the balcony, which is nice as well. That's, yeah, that's really good, isn't it? And uh, some nice single prices there as well. We, um, I don't know where the time goes on this show, do you? No, we, we thought it was going to be a nice show. Then, uh, right, let's get moving. Like we are, we are <laughs> nearly out of time. So I tell you what, we're going to do a very, very quick recap. We started off with Morella Cruises, which is, of course, Thompson, just renamed all the things you love about Thompson, particularly the price on this one, 629 
and that of course as ever includes all of your tips and exclusive discounts. Return flights based on London Gap, which will obviously provide your flights from most UK airports. Let me go on to that really nice one with Princess. Again, the big thing there with the two night stay or you can extend in Hong Kong. And this one's gonna do Thailand, Bali, all the way down to Perth, 28th of September. On this one, the ID is 160089. And again, you've got the Symphony of Light cruise on that one and return flights for London. But we can look at supplements on from Manchester, Birmingham, or around the country. We then had a, a wonderful river cruise with Viking. And uh, as we mentioned, if you are a wine lover, this would be superb. And everything really is included in this one. You get the free drinks uh, package, or you could choose the £100 M&S vouchers. Free Wi-Fi, all the excursions, you get those in every port as well. And uh, the ships, they vary depending on departure date, but they're all of the same quality. And some of the items do operate in reverse depending on the dates as well. Then we go on to Celestial Cruises. We've never featured this before. This is going out to Cuba. Uh, again, eight night all inclusive on there. The ID is 159372. If you book any of the Celestial Cruises in Cuba sailing, you'll be entered into a competition to win the three night med cruise. It's all inclusive on this one. You've got returns flight on Virgin Gatwick plus the overseas transfers. And I would, if you're going to go over that part of the world, have a look at adding on that seven night all inclusive beach hotel in Varadero for only 659 per person. And then the, the stunning brand new Celebrity Edge, the only date where she actually sails out of Southampton. Uh, now we are going to give you a, a free extra night in a full star hotel in Rome at the end of the cruise. It's a brand new ship and she really is setting a new standard of luxury and... Innovation. Well done. I see. <laughs> a return flight uh, to London and... As we mentioned, we can give you extra nights in Rome, you can do back-to-back -back cruise, you might want to do the Venice uh, Orient Express, but we, we can sort all of that out for you. And uh, just a deposit only tonight on that one. The ID number for Celebrity today is 160347. And then finally, we've got that amazing deal from uh, p &O. Again, we've got the p &O, uh, going out there on the 9th of March. That's the leading date on Azura. The 16th of March, just to let you know, will be Britannia on that one. Oh, yes. You. Okay, yeah. just to let people know. Um, and that's 879. The ID on that one is 117521. Overnight on board in Barbados. £49 supplement on the Manchester. Uh, and just before we run out of time, don't forget, Fred Olsen, um, they gave us a special prize for tonight's show. They dropped the prize for tonight's show on this, the Five Night Belgium Chocolates and Tulips in Amsterdam Cruise. On board the Bon Roll, lovely ship. You could get away for 289 A great taste to cruise. Uh, the outside's actually only 349 and a single at 469 And if you'd like to upgrade, to all-inclusive, just £15 per person flight. That's just been reduced right now. And so we cool. also had that Pullman Tour one as well, which oh, is we the did, Canary's yeah. 499 as well. Again, I think I think it was 20, 20 for Jan on that one. Uh, Glenn, um, I'm going to miss you. Seriously. I know. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm not going to. I'm literally, as I said, I'm on holiday in December. January's busy in the office, but I'll be back for February. I mean, you will hear his voice if you book a cruise in oh, January. Yeah, He's still there taking calls. Phone me, phone me. Right. <laughs> Pleasure, mate. Touch, Glenn. Great Christmas. Yeah, same Cheers, to you. Cheers, guys. Have a great um, Christmas. I'll be here next week. Uh, but loads of welcome up straight after my stuff. Thank you, bye.